repeat this verses once more shantam shashvatam aprameyam anagham nirvana shanti pradam ब्रह्माशंभुपणींद्र सेव्यमनिशम वेदांत वेद्यम विभुम रामाख्यम जगदीश्वरम सुरगुरुम माया मनुष्यम हरिम वंदेहम करुणा करम रघुवरम भूपाल चूड़ामनिम नान्या स्प्रिहा रघुपते हृदये स्मदीये सत्यम वदामि च भवान खिलांतरात्मा भक्तिम प्रयत्चर गुपुंगव निर्भराम्मे कामादितोशर हितम कुरुमान सम्च अतुलित बल धाम हेम शैलावदेहम जनुजवन कृशानु ज्ञानी नाम अग्रगण्यम सकल गुण निधान वारणाधीशम रघुपति प्रिय भक्तम वात जातम नमामि रघुपति प्रिय भक्तम वात जातम नमामि जिमी अमोघ रघुपति कर बाना एही वाति चले उहनुमाना जलनिधि रघुपति दूत विचारी तैमय नाक हो श्रमहारी हनुमान ते ही परसा कर पुनि की न प्रणाम राम काज की ने बिनु मोहि कहा विश्राम सियावर राम चंद्र की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय उमापति महादेव की जय बोलो भाई सब संतन की जैसे हमें ग्रैंडफादर चंती नहीं है हनुमान जी इस नाउ बोल्टेड आउट टुवर्ड्स लंका प्रेसिंग डाउन सो हार्ड दैट द माउंटेन फ्रॉम विच ही स्प्रंग वेंट टू पाता लोक and Tulsi Dashi describes this is the first arrow. He left like an arrow of Bhagwan. Shri Ram Jimmy Amogar Gupati Karabana Ehi Vanti Chalehu Hanumana. And I told yesterday that this is a symbolic journey also, whilst it's a historical thing which is transpiring or which transpired, it is also very symbolic. There is no reason why the Lord in his incarnations cannot achieve ten goals in one stroke. We could hardly achieve one or part of one. But Bhagwan, whilst he makes his historical sojourn on the earth to remove a dharma and establish dharma, he also lives a life that is highly symbolic for future generations and all that kind of thing. Um, he can include symbolism in his actions. We, we get too real because we take everything to be real. The Lord can include so much of symbolism. So here, his journey, Bhagwan Shiva himself, his journey across from India to Lanka is symbolic of the journey across Sansar. And in that Sansaric journey to get peace, to get 
happiness, which all of us are looking for. There will be a lot of obstacles. And so I told you now, we see the first obstacle there. Jalani dhiragupati dhuta bichari. As he was going, Jalani dhiragupati dhuta bichari. Te mainak hoishra mahari. Mainak. Thought, Miss Hanumanji is going, Rama's dhuta. He is going. And poor fellow has come from all the way Kishkinda, you know. And maybe he might be tired. If I help him, I will also be helping Ram. If I help Rama Duta, Rama's Duta, I will be helping Ram. So he came out from under the under the ocean. They may not hoi Shramahari. Shramahari means it told him to, to take a rest, to remove his his fatigue. So and the the Doha says. Hanuman tehi parasa. Hanuman touched him with his hand. Karapuniki in a pranam. And then he put his hands together. And said, Ram kaj ki inhe binu mohi kaha vishram. Until I finish the work of Bhagavan Sri Ram, where is there rest for me? There is no rest. That is the only exchange. Half a chopai and one doha. Hanumanji declined the offer of rest. Because Hanumanji had heard Puja Gurudev in a previous incarnation. <laughs> if you rest, we rust. rust. So no rest. And the important operative term there is Rama Kaj Kinhe Binu. Without finishing the work of Rama, where is there? Rest. And our Puja Gurudev was on this same journey of doing Rama Kaj. Ram Kaj, and so when people used to say, when are you going to retire? When are you going to stop? What is that people? What? He used to say, I stop when I drop. And so said, so? So done. I stop when I drop. So in Ram Kaj, no rest. That is the idea. We can have Ram. So he touched my Nak Parvat, and again, bolted out on his journey. My Nag Parvat came at one time in a, I don't remember which city now. I had to, I was taking the high school some years ago in some camp. And then I told them, now we all enact this thing, let us see now. And Manji faces these obstacles on his way to Lanka and this and that. We have to come up with all of these obstacles. That is mountain came up from the ocean and blocked Hanumanji and told him to take a rest and eat something and drink something. And when they gave him, mountain dew. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> There's a mountain after all, you know. What else he'll have? Anyway, so uh, Hanumanji declined. Now, this is the first obstacle. And this obstacle represents... Procrastination and laziness and tamas and all the things that come from tamas. Pramada. All the offshots of tamas, tamas. Sloths and sleepy, drowsy, lethargy and all this kind of thing. Procrastination mostly. Because all, all that can be summed up, summed up in procrastination. No, no, we'll do. Kal kare so, aaj kare, aaj kare so. What you have to do tomorrow, do now. What you have to, uh, today, what you have to do today, do now, like that. Kaun jane paralai kab hogi? Who knows when there's a paralai and you didn't get to do anything? Paralai, before I finish this sentence, paralai could come, isn't it? So, no procrastination. We get the thing done. That get on the ball, as we say. Uh, and this uh, mountain also represents temptation. That is the two things. It represents procrastination, laziness. All of them classified under Thomas. And the other one is temptation. On the path, somebody come and tempt it. Drink a little mountain dew, you know. Drink. Sit. Like that. Whatever. Things. Temptation. 
They say now, right? opportunity knocks once, but temptation leans up on the doorbell. <laughs> the bell doesn't stop ringing. One little fellow was trying to ring that doorbell. He's jumping, he couldn't reach that thing. Jumping up like that. So one man was walking his dog. And he saw this little boy trying to ring that doorbell. So he came, he felt sorry for that little kid, you know. He came and lifted him. Now ring it. He, the little fellow rang, rang the doorbell and he put him back down. So then he asked the little fellow, now what? That little fellow said, I don't know about you, but I'm going to run like hell. <laughs> You will be here. <laughs> but that temptation leans up there. It doesn't go. So Hanumanji, and this is a very, very important thing. Children, youth, adults, everybody always tempted by different things. Eh? But uh, no. So not to give in to temptation. And usually the temptation for laziness is a very attractive one to take a rest, take a sleep, you know. So, 5.30 class. Temptation for the tamas to take over. So Hanumanji said no, and an emphatic no also, but also respectfully declining that, see, touching with his hands. How he deals with all these obstacles and all is just amazing. He touched with his hands, and did pranam, and then he left. Then, now as we'll see, he's going. Jat pavan sut devan ha dekha janai kahu vala buddhi visesha sur sa naam ahin ha ke maata patha ini aai kahi te hi baata aaj suran mohi din ha ahara sunat bachan kah pavan kumara राम काज करी फिर मैं आओ सीता कई सुधी प्रभु ही सुनाओ तब तब बदन पैठी हाऊ आई सत्य कहाऊ मोही जान देवाई कवने हु जतन दे ही नहीं जाना त्रससी न मोही कहे हु हनुमान जो जन भरी सारा कपितनु तीन दुगुन विस्तारा तो रह जो जन मुख ते ही थयाऊ तुरत पवन सुत बत्तिस भयाऊ जस जस सुर साबर तासुदुन कपि रूप देखावा सत जो जन ते ही आनन कीना अति लगु रूप पवन सुतलीना बदन पैठी पुनी बाहिर आवा मागा बिदाता ही सिरु नावा ओ ही सुरन ले ही लागी पठावा बुद्धि बल मरमुतोर में पावा राम काज सब करी हो तुम बल बुद्धि निधान आशीष दे गई सो हर शिचले उहनुमान रखी जाए पवन सुत हनुमान की जाए उमापति महादेव की जाए बोलो भाई सब संतन की जाए जात पवन सुत हनुमान जी कंटिन्यूड ऑन हिज वे देव ने देखा देन दी देवता सो सो दैट नो देन जाने का हु बला बुद्धि विशेषा दे वांटेड टू नो एज इन नेसेसरी बला एंड बुद्धि to complete this journey or not? So the idea is, you know, from there itself you see the teaching of Tulsidaji springing out. In order to reach peace or happiness, Bala and Buddhi. They wanted to know, the Devtas wanted to know, he has this 
Bala and Buddhi required for this or what? Then what they did? Surasanam Ahinhake Mata, the mother of all his serpents were there. So Surasanam, her name was Surasa. Nam. Patha in hi ai kahitehi bata. Patha in hi, they sent her. Ai, she came. You know, all these sentences are just put together. And then, kahi tehi bata, then she spoke. Kahi tehi to him. Some words. Like that. Ah, jasura na mohi deen ha ahara. What she spoke? Well, 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 well. <laughs> Today, the gods has, have given me food. Looking at Hanumanji. Eh? Looking at Hanumanji. Today, the gods have given me food. Hanumanji looked around. <laughs> Realized he was the only one there. Sunata Bachana Pavan Sunata Bachana Kaha Pavana Kumara. And he realized that he was the intended meal. He spoke. What he spoke? Ramakaj. I see again. Ramaka. What is the uppermost thing in his mind? Ramakaja Kari. I have to do some work for Rama. Ramakaja Kari. Piri me awau. Fir. Vapas aunga. I'll come back. After I do the work of Rama, then come back and do what? Sita, Kai, Sudhi, Prabhu, Isu, now, and tell Rama the news about Sita Ji. You go and see, see her. Come back and tell Rama the news about her. That is the work. Then after I finish that work, Tava, Tava, Badana, Peti, Hau, I, I will come and I will enter your mouth. Mean you can eat me then. But first let me finish the work of Ram. Satya kahau mohi jana dev hai mai. He is telling. My dear mother, I am telling the truth. So therefore let me go. And Surasa said, what do you think? I was born yesterday or what? <laughs> let you go and you will come back and enter my mouth. What is this thing? Kava nehu jatana de nehi jana. Whatever he tried, she will not let him go. Try it in many ways. She will not let him go. Then, after all that, try, try, try. Let go, let me go, that, let me go, that, because of this, because of no, so many things. Then he got him. Grasasi namoi. Why don't you eat me then? Eat me then. It means he fiend. Feel the loss of patience, like that. Then eat me. That's a question. Why don't you eat me then? Like that. So she said, well, that is a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> that is why it was telling you from beginning. I don't know why you try all of these other things, you know, from the beginning. Then she opened her mouth now. Jojana bari, tei badanu pasara. She opened her mouth, one yojana. One Yojana is how many miles? From here to Debe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One Yojana is like about seven, eight miles, right? That she opened her mouth that much. Then, Kapitanu, Kina, Duguna, Bistara. Hanumanji made himself twice as big as her mouth. No, that mouth cannot swallow that. Hanuman. Then, Soraha Jojana, Mukhate Thayau, and 16 Yojanas now. 16 Yojanas she made. 16 multiplied by 7. That's a big number. But anyway, then, Soraha Jojana, Mukhate Thayau, Turata Pavana Sutta Bhattisavayau, then he made it 32. Double again. He made it. His body size. Then, jasa jasa sura sa badanu badhava ta asuddhuna kapi rupa te khava. And as a, whatever size she made, he made his, he made his, size she opened her mouth, he made his body twice as big as that. This thing went on and on and on. Sata jo janate hi anana ki dha. Then she opened her mouth, sata jo, 700 miles from here to Jamaica. 
फ्रॉम हेयर टू जमेका और लाइक दैट सत जो जन ते ही आनंद की ना अति लघु रूप पवन सुत लीन हाँ एंड हनुमान जी मिरियरली टू का स्मॉल फॉर्म लाइक दिस एंड बदन पे टिपुनी बाहर आवा ही वेंट इनसाइड हम आउट एंड फ्लू इन देयर एंड सी हम आउट बिग फ्रॉम हेयर टू जमेका राइट इ वे सेवन फोर्टी सेवन जेट फ्लाइंग स्टिल टेक टू आवर टू रीच हेयर At that speed, also, if she closed her mouth, it will still take two hours. He could have gone his idea, take a nap, and and come back out and all. <laughs> Inside her mouth, isn't it? Even then, check. Oh, you have a cavity here on this left. I don't know. I don't know places. Then I came back out. I like nothing. So. After going inside that mountain, coming back, but then a petty puni bahir awa maga bida. Then he asked for permission. No, tai siru nawa. And bowing his head before her, he asked for permission. No, let me go. Mohi suranha jehi lagi pathawa budhi bala maramu tor me pawa. Whatever the gods sent me here to accomplish, I have accomplished. बुद्धि एंड बल मरम उत्तर में पावा आई हैव नॉट डिस्कवर दिस योर ग्रेट बुद्धि द सेम थिंग एंड द टॉप बुद्धि बल बल बुद्धि एंड हियर बुद्धि बल सी इट एज अ स्विच इन द टॉप जाना है कहूँ बल बुद्धि भी शेषा सी हनुमान जी इज नोन फॉर हिज इम मेजर बस अतुलित बल धाम हेम शैलाव देहम He is known for his immeasurable strength, but Surasa coming and having an interface with Hanumanji here discovers that that immeasurable strength is preceded by a great intelligence. See, great intelligence, because he didn't use any strength on her. Outwitted only, he outwitted her only. So more than his strength, and, and and not even to use his strength, he used his buddhi. So buddhi bala, or buddhi bala, yeah, buddhi Sanskrit, buddhi bala, maramu na, maramu tor mai pawa. I have understood very clearly. True, you are great, you are very strong, but very very wise. Rama ka jo sabu kari hau, tum bala buddhi nidan. You are the very storehouse of bala and. Buddhi and I know you will attain or achieve Rama's Rama Kaj. She also now is saying Rama Kaj. She came there for Devata Kaj. Eh? Devata sent her. But now she is talking about Rama. Kaj, that is Satsang, you know. Satsang does that. Satsang transforms. She came there for Devata. Devata. Jata pa Deva na dekha jana kahu. Bala Buddhi bhi seesha. सुरसा नाम है के पठा ही नहीं दि देवता सेन सो शी केम दे फॉर देवता का नहीं राम काज सब करी हहु तुम बल बुद्धि निधान आशीष दे गई सो हर शि चले हनुमान एंड शी ब्लेस्ट हिम एंड ही लेफ्ट दे बोथ लेफ्ट दिस इज द स्टोरी शी रिप्रेजेंट्स ग्रीड काम क्रोध तथा लोभ त्रिविधम नरक सेदम द्वारम नाशन आत्मन है दिस इज वन ऑफ दी डोज टू हेल ग्रीड 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 मीन्स मोवी सी मोवी वॉन्ट मोवी सी मोवी वॉन्ट एंड दैट माउथ एंड कैप गेटिंग बिगर एंड बिगर नाउ ही हेज बिकम बिगर नॉट इज अ बिगर समथिंग टू स्वॉलो आई सी इंस्टेड ऑफ मेकिंग टू मिलियन आई कैन मेक फोर मिलियन सो आई ओपन माई मेंटल अपीटाइट टू स्वॉलो The four million instead of two, like that. That greed, opening the mental appetite to swallow more and more of the world. That's greed only. So it went on and on and on. Then, no, very important thing about this greed. Eh? This whole global economy, entire global economy, is running on greed. So if Greed is removed; the whole global economy will crash. Also, 
Well, there's nothing bad about that also. We'll just go back to agrarian existence, right? There's no, there's no problem. But for uh, societies and what, what is called today as progress, uh, uh, prosperity, uh, spreading religion and all of those type of things, greed is and something necessary in the background. Something ha some greed has to be there. Therefore, if it's the next obstacle, which is there is a Simhika, which is coming next now, number three, he, in one blow he kills the Simhika. But here, Surasa, he doesn't, he doesn't kill. He outwits greed. Outwitted greed. The first obstacle he de respectfully declined. So there will be things in the world that we will have to respectfully decline. There will be things in the world that we will have to outwit. He outwitted this Surasa and then she also blessed him and let him go. And that is a very significant thing. Eh? The person who can outwit greed, he will be blessed with a lot of things actually. It, it, a tremendous um, Durguna, this greed. So while greed is a door to hell for a sadhaka, greed is required for a whole global economy to work. So we don't kill what we do, we outwit. Meaning to say what? I have to make sure that the greed doesn't get the better of me. That is all. A sadhaka has to make sure that greed doesn't get the better of him. A sadhaka cannot kill greed. Greed will be there all the time. So I do not become a prey for greed like that. Huh? It, outwitting is what is required. That uh, the, the mechanism given in Shastras for that, right, is a very simple mechanism. What is that? Uh, you desire as much wealth and material prosperity and as much as you want. But desire it for Sanatan Dharma. Which I, I've outwitted like that. We can go on craving as much wealth and greed, have as much greed as we want. Get more and get more and get more. I'm getting more for this one. I'm getting more for that one. I'm getting more for the community. Getting more for others like that. So if one gets an opportunity to entertain the greed, but the greed does not get the better off of us. That is the idea. So outwitting greed like that. Eh? All wealth are to be used for dharma. Rama kaj sab karihahu. Then she tells, you will certainly achieve Rama's kaj, the work of Rama, the mission of Rama. Tuma bala buddhi nidhan. You are the very storehouse of bala and buddhi asisha dehi gai so. Are she chale uhanuma? No. She, he continues on his third towards his third obstacle now. What is that? Nisichara ek sindhu mahurahai kari maya nabhuke khagagahai jiva jantu je gagana udahi chalabhi lokhi jinha ke parichahi gahai chaha sakasona udahi ehi Ranakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarakarak
Yeah, he doesn't put her name at all. There, after Jayant got Santa Darshan, he put her name, uh, his name. Here, he just says Nisichari. It means to say, this Nisichari represents such a Durguna that has no place in anybody's life, has no place in Ramayana also. Meaning to say, name will defile Ramayana. Like that. So he doesn't put. Nisichari ek sindhu mahurahai karimayana bhake khaga gahai. And by deception, she used to catch birds flying in the space, flying through the space. And jeeva jantu je gagana urai, whatever, any jeev jantu flying, flying fish also doesn't matter. And their shadow was cast upon the waters. Then what she'll do? She could grab their shadow. What, what a power. A tremendous power. Pull them down by their shadow. Ehi vidi sada gaganachara khai. In this way, any Gaganchar, Gaganchar means space goa. <laughs> Anything that goes in space. <laughs> Anything is moves. <laughs> yeah. Skywalker only. <laughs> so, anything passing like that. Kai! See? Ate them, devoured them. So chal. Now see. How quickly. So chal. Anuman kahakina. Numanji immediately recognized what was going on. Why? He was flying at 49,000 feet altitude. <laughs> and suddenly he felt he was losing altitude. <laughs> because she was able to pull him down like that. But he realized what was going on. Oh, Tasu Kapatu. Kapi? Turatahi Chinha. Immediately he recognized uh, this fraudulent, deceitful. Uh, say, uh, behavior and then Tahi Mari Maruta Sutta Bira, great heroic son of the wind, gave her one blow, Bari Ripada Gayomati Tira. And in the same breath was he that he reached the other shore. He reached Lanka. The line doesn't get to finish, but he, and he already reaches Lanka. And this is the third obstacle. One blow he gave to She represents jealousy. And she also represents a parasitic existence. A parasite. She's a parasite to society. No society likes parasite. Means all predators, they pursue their prey. They run after their prey and they exert to get that prey. But she just sits there without doing any work. Like the, the parasitic plant on the other plant. Right? It lives off the other plant. It does some work, some minimal work, but do the least and get the most. That I that call parasitic existence. So when we have parasites in in the garden and parasites on trees and parasites anywhere, what we do, we, we remove it. And while we can find some use for all the Durgunas, it is very difficult to find use for jealousy. No, 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 I'm jealous of the other person. And because I was jealous of the other person, I worked hard and hard and hard. Some people say like that. Eh? I worked hard and hard and hard. Uh, out of that jealousy so that I could pass that other person. Well, that actually didn't get him anywhere. That will not get anybody anywhere. Because I did not... In working hard, I am supposed to surpass myself, not the other person. What I have done now is... Yeah, there's a person who is working and I try and strive and strive and strive without jealousy. I strive and strive and I pass him, right? So now what I have actually done is I have made my ego ten times stronger 
rather than becoming better, I have become worse. Now I get the satisfaction of telling my ego, I have superseded the other person. And I defeated it out of jealousy. So it is very difficult. If anybody can find out any positive thing that comes from jealousy, that will be a great thing. How should you represent jealousy? Anybody who is flying high, you, you pull him down like that. Like the crab in the barrel. Crabs in barrel syndrome, they call that. Crabs in barrel, when you put them, you don't have to cover the barrel. Because when one crab tries to climb out, the other one will pull him down. So, she represents these two great Durgunas, a parasitic existence. One who is a parasite is a thief. Eh? Bhagavan calls him in Bhagavad Gita in the third chapter, we'll see that stena so uchyate. Means he takes from the society but doesn't give. He's called a thief. So, she just sits there and just. So, Anumanji, that's why he says, Turata hi china, he quickly recognized and gave one blow. So, that while greed may have a, a use, a purpose, greed may have some contribution to keep up the global economy and all of that sort of thing. Uh, jealousy doesn't have any. If somebody can make a good case for jealousy, please tell me. Uh, write it down. You have, to, uh, you have to make a good case for jealousy, to defend jealousy. You could defend many other things. Krodha. You could defend Krodha also. So because sometimes they may not have anger, but you can show anger and that get things done. Yeah. But jealousy is very difficult to defend. You have to have a good defense. Anyway, so now he reached the other side. Now when he reached the other side, immediately to see that he jumps into describing the beauty of Lanka. We, let us face it. Islands are usually very beautiful. <laughs> An island. And see immediately from in one story, he changes immediately to all the beauty of Lanka. And then he describes all the rakshasas and he'll tell why. We'll see that tomorrow. And then his fourth obstacle will be there. Next, one more obstacle is still there. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Pyo Namaha Hari Om.